Ross Backen. Clever from Davidson. Harvey. City remain in possession. Great sidestep from Lutz Bosch. And now drops the shoulder on Wilson. Still Bosch. And at the near post, Speckmeyer sweeps it in. And Melbourne City score first in the derby. And it means the world to the Venezuelan international striker, Mar City 1-0. On the Harvey Norman replay, this comes from the industry from Lords Bosch. And look at the work rate, look at the ethic to keep this one alive and just manage to scoop a ball through to Mariana Speckmeyer, who times her run really well, just nips in front of her opposition player. But we saw last week what Bosch is capable of. We're seeing again this afternoon. And that is a bright, bright start for Melbourne City. Speckmeyer, newly arrived from the Wellington field. Over the course of her Ninja A-League career. And true from the penalty spot here. Career goal number 57 and three for the season for M. Gilnick brings the victory level. And she set this moment up for herself. It's a confident penalty. It's a cool penalty. And it's a third of the season for Emily Gilnick. They went behind for long. This derby is off to a bit of a fly. Yeah, rest defence, though. Setting up more or less as a 4-4-2 and just blocking up the passages and making things hard for Victory to play through. And that's where, for the Victory team, they need a little bit more proactive movement. Low, clever pass. Flannery take two on the cross. First time again. Yachevsky! Alana Yachevsky! A dream come true for the girl that grew up supporting Melbourne Victory. As Nikki Flannery on the Harvey Norman replay has really come alive in the last couple of minutes. Picked in the middle of the park and a beautiful threaded pass through. Once more, Nikki Flannery, first time ball, cuts back, finds the run of Janczewski who arrives to perfection. You see the little glance up from Flannery and the delivery had to be right, as did the timing, and it was spot on. You wouldn't know it's a non-preferred foot, Grace. That is a great finish on her right side. Make meaningful progress against the City defence, and now the counter-attack is initiated by Laura Hughes. Bosch in midfield. Closed down by the backtrack and Chidiak. That has been noticeable. Oh, the shallow back pass here. Bosch is in! Bosch! A gift for Melbourne City! And a first Ninja Rayleigh goal for Lourdes Bosch! Top, an unexpected twist. On the Harvey Norman replay, it's an awful back pass by Claudia Bunge, and she knows as well. And she punches into the earth. It puts her keeper into a really difficult position, but ready to pounce and ready to poke away. Into the back of the net is Lourdes Bosch. Opportunistic, as every good striker should be. She levels the terms here at Amy Park, the Melbourne Derby. Foster Larkas. Ball sits up in midfield. McKenna volleys on. Speckmeyer was off and running, anticipating the pass. Speckmeyer! Will that be the Derby winner? Mariana Speckmeyer, who started the scoring, may just have had the final say. Vision over the top on the Harvey Norman replay. This ball, this first time pass from McKenna, was sublime. And Mariana Speckmeyer, one, two touches, makes no mistake, uses her physicality really well, gets her body in front, and pierces the heart of the victory defense. It's an unnerving finish. And a huge one for Melbourne City. And it's not. It's not just the pass, Grace, it's the... Swinky Yallop will be the one to take the free kick. Yallop, curling effort towards the back post to scramble, and it's made its way through. Brisbane Roar have the goal just before the break. It was Chelsea Blissett who got the final touch on it. Well, after returning from a season-ending injury last time out, it's Blissett who have given the home side the lead. Tamika Yallop's free kick caused all sorts of danger here for Sydney. Blissett got a touch and then it came off Sydney's defence. Perhaps Hannah Lowry will have to wait to see whether that will be credited to Blissett. 
Rebecca Lake with some robust work to win possession back momentarily for Wellington. Here's Heyman. She can't control, but it falls. And a chance now for Markovsky. Two goals last week. Here's Maya Markovsky in the area. Is this her third of the season? It's Heyman! And Canberra's Queen and Green. Their goal machine chalks up number 100. Markovsky and Canberra into a 1-0 lead. There was a great ball through there, and Maya Mokovsky just does enough, gets it across to Heyman, and she was never going to miss from there, and what an amazing personal achievement for Michelle Heyman there to get her 100th goal. Incredible from Michelle Heyman. Right into the mixer, it goes! Direct from the corner, Emily Condon puts Adelaide in front. Wanderers protest, they thought the keeper was fouled. But the goal stands, and Emily Condon, in first half stoppage time, puts Adelaide in front. It's her first goal against the Western Sydney Wanderers in 10 years. She last scored against them in November 2014. Can Wanderers find the back of the net and get themselves back into this game? Adelaide on the front foot, the goal scorer, Condon, round the corner to Aaron Healy. Able to keep the ball through Matos's challenge. Now Fiona Wurtz! It's two for Adelaide and they've scored in the first minute of the second half. And things could not have started any better. Healy here was able to just hold off Matos, roll away from her, and then laid off the assist. Wurtz, that left foot can be lethal. Hey, goal winner that day, that day. And Tiana Robertson had a big part to play and that's some really big saves, but new signing as that ball's given away cheaply and then the first shot on goal into the back of the net that's the kind of effort you want if you are Stephen Peters for his Perth Glory side first goal for Georgia Cassidy of the new season that ball given cheaply and then Kofus Brown couldn't get a hold of it and Georgia Cassidy slots it into the bottom of the net now they may be away, Perth. Got runners up ahead in Brown, but that ball a little bit too far in front and picked off. Time for Allen. Can she create something? Goes through the inside, gets past Cassidy. Got options. Still, Allen takes that shot. Allen! What an effort from Josie Allen. Came from the left-hand side, drifted in. An outstretched arm of Miranda Templeman could not stop that. Beat. Georgia Cassidy, the other goal scorer, and what a beautiful long-range effort. Nothing Templeman could do. Saw no one was closing her down. Brown, Dalton, for effort. O'Donoghue! Sarah O'Donoghue off the bench, gets it on the score sheet, makes an impact. And that's exactly what Stephen Peters wanted from his sub. Another great strike to start this season. And Sarah O'Donoghue right into that top corner. Nothing Pajanak could do. Saw it and made beautiful contact with it to find the back of the net. And they may be through O'Donoghue. It's taken a deflection. Pajanak's off her goal. Brown over the top. Kelly Brown! And there's the third for Perth. And there's the second of the season for Kelly Brown. That hill that Newcastle needed to climb or is ever taller. Chris Davis didn't deal with it. Sarah O'Donoghue was quick to react. Forced the deflection from Krasinac's effort and Brown. She's making that a specialty. Donahue, you've got to give her a lot of credit for forcing that mistake, forcing the deflection. This Perth side. Hoban, that pass almost cut off by Anderson. Davis winning that battle with O'Donoghue. Gallagher tees up Sheridan Gallagher! What an effort from Sheridan Gallagher! Her third ever goal in the competition. A goal on a return back to Newcastle Jets. Can Newcastle push? Goal for Newcastle Jets, 
to get a point, but what a strike.